So today we're going to be taking a look at working with FS in Node. Now FS is a library for working with the file system. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add and remove and update and make directories so you can just get a basic understanding of how it works. So the first thing I want to talk about is how do you get it into your code. So you have to require it in. It's a built-in package. So that means that you don't have to install it via the node package manager. You can simply just require it and it will work. Now there is another package which we won't take a look at today, but it's called FS Extras. And that package adds asynchronous and await capabilities to FS. So if you're looking for that, then you have to install FS Extras. But today's video is just going to be covering FS. So the first command I want to take a look at is how to write a file. And it's very simple. We do FS dot write file sync. Now the reason why I'm using the word sync is because we're working with synchronous code. Now, uh, you can write non-synchronous code in this library here, but they will use callbacks. And I don't really like using callbacks, so I won't be showing you that method. I just think if you do want to work with asynchronous code, you should just use FS extras, since I don't really think it's worth your time to even use the capabilities of FS default asynchronous way of working with code. But that's just my opinion. But today we're just going to be taking a look at the synchronous code. So the first parameter is the name of the file or the directory. Let's name it test dot txt. The next parameter is either a text, a number or a buffer. But if you don't have a buffer, you can simply put in a string. And that is how simple it is to write a file. So let's try running this so we can see it working. And you can see that this creates a file called test.txt. Now let's try locking out the content of that file. And we do that by read file sync. And we provide the path. Now, this will give you the content, but you have to wrap it in a console log to see it. So let's do that quickly. Dot there. And let's try to run it. And you can see we get a buffer. To convert a buffer to a string, it's very easy. You just do to string. And if we run it again, we will get our text. Let's just quickly outcomment these commands here. So let's try to add some text or append some text to this file up here. Very simple, like before. And in here, we simply write the text that we want to append. Let's say we write test2. This will append it right on. So if you want a space in between, then you have to add a space right here. And let's try to run this. And if we take a look at our file, we have our new text. And a quick note I want to make, let's quickly go back to this one. If you wanted to save or read JSON, just simply do json.stringify, which will convert a JSON object to a string. Put in a JSON object called the property name and let's set it to Bob. And if we run this code here, it will have stringified that JSON. And if we want to read that back in as a JSON object, very simple as well. You just want to wrap this entire thing in json.parse. And there you go. As long as that is valid JSON, this will convert it into an object. And you can see now it's an object. That was just a quick little extra. So let's take a look at how to delete that file. Do FS unlink synchronous. I really don't know why it's not just delete, but unlink. But you just provide the path. Very simple. And if we run this, our file is gone. 
So let's try to create a directory. And then we just provide the path. So this could be files. And if we run this, we'll get a folder with the name of files. Let's try to delete that. And we do that by doing rmdir, and then we provide the path. And that deletes the folder. So this was a quick look at FS. There is a lot more features in FS than this, but this is the majority of the functionality you're gonna be using on a day-to-day -day basis. I would recommend if you're working with asynchronous code to just use FS extras. Now you don't have to use FS extras. You could, I guess, wrap these functions in promises yourself. And if you're not working with promises and you're used to working with callbacks, then you can run all of these by simply removing the sync word and adding the callback function here. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.